Hello Dawn's Inspirations here. I thought I would share with you the Fresh Start Mini Kit from Celebrate. Okay, so let's open this up and see what you get in here. Your papers are 15 centimetres by 20 centimetres. So we'll look at those in a minute. You've got some um, epoxy stickers. Okay, they're nice and risen if you can see some ribbon we've got a little bit of gold fleck going through that ribbon there and then you've got your chipboards that you can fuss it like snipping between lots of snipping opportunities to divide this up to use okay it's more like a balsa wood i wouldn't call it a chipboard because that's card and i wouldn't call it wood it's more like a balsa wood so it's nice and lightweight if you wanted to post anything and then let's look at the papers Let's open these up. So you're going to get 24 double-sided papers. So you have two of each. Okay, which is great. So I'm going to turn them round. So I'm going to show you the A and the B side together. So, so this is your A side and this is your B side. So we've got the lovely flamingos going on there. And then that's like a plain soft brown, I would call that. It's not harsh brown. But you've got lots of elements going on in the background of your papers. They're not just plain. Can you see you've got all this? It's all layered up. And then this is your next one. So I'm going to flip that over. Don't forget about using the wording on the bottom of your B size because they're always handy to use as extra wording. But again, extra elements there going on and let me flip this one over again to show you a and b so we've got pink tones going on here we've got sort of arrows going on two different shades of pink and a lovely scalloped bottom and then again you've got that i'm going to pick it up in a minute so this is like it looks like sort of glitter but it's not it's just flat paper this is uncoated as well you can stamp over this but look at the other side it's not a it's not a chocolate dark brown it's the softer brown but you've got it's like the gold element running through gold thread and then again you've got those same that same color palette and you'll always see at the bottom here the colors that are going through so if you want to add extra cardstock to make your kit go further you can do so again that's your b side so a and b okay more flamingos going on here but see look on the b side it's a bit plainer so if you, that's too fussy for you quite easily got this to go on and then we flip these over and again we've got some more green palette going on here we've got the big i think these are big banana leaves i think that's what you call those banana leaves but even if you look here you've got flecks of gold and things going on but your two shades of green as well straight away you could cut that in half and that could be you know for photo map for cards or to slip in a pocket if you're doing a mini book some more flamingos so again we've got a pale pink uh, background here I love the saying here uh, you carry the passport to your own happiness how gorgeous is that but the flamingos aren't just plain on there. In the background, you'll see that same patterning coming through with the white element this time. We've got our cut apart cards, our saying cards. So we've got these that we can use. Let me pick it up so you can see the B side. Now, this is going to be a hard one, isn't it? So good job you got two because straight away here, you go round the black. I'm going to pick this up. This is the B side. You can just cut round the black lines and you've got a picture frame there that could go on the front of a mini book anything you like you can fussy cut these elements out if you choose but on the a side look at the lovely words that you've got every day is a fresh start she needed a hero so that's what she became how lovely are those and then this time you've got nice bigger words going on here you've got stripy pink and the green elements and then i'm going to pick this up so you can see the a side so you've got two of these so you don't have to use both you can use an a and a b your choice but look at all those lovely words you inspire me aim high 
fearless, beautiful, best life. You know, there's lots of words you can use there. Some more fussy cut elements going on here. You've got that sort of nice jungled leaf look going on. And then if you like a little bit of fussy cutting, these are easy to cut out. I've done it, not a problem at all. So do have a go. And then some tags. I'm going to do the A and the B. Oh, now this is going to be hard. It's, which one are you going to choose? Oh, are these double sided? No, they're not double sided as in you could do it. I thought they would be that you could cut that out. Your tag's double sided. It's not. But what it is giving you, because you've got two sheets, so I'm going to turn that over. What it is giving you is more options. So you've got big tags. You've got smaller tags going on. You've got the small circles and the large circles. You've got different shapes, hearts. These are all tags on this side. Because can you see the little heart, um, the white? Just put your hole punch through there and you can make tags. Whereas this side, you see, you've got the, um, the like, file sides. You've got the circles. You've got the big tags. Oh, well, that's going to be a hard one to choose. Good job there's two sheets of each. And then obviously two sheets of white you can use for your matting and layering, use for your ink in your choice. The nice thing about the Celebrate papers is they are uncoated. So you can over stamp on these. So even those lovely plain ones, you can stamp on these quite easily. So you're going to get your 24 sheets of double sided 15 by 20 centimetres, your chipboard element, your ribbon and your epoxy stickers and that is your mini kit. I'm Dawn's Inspirations. Thank you for watching.